Roger, welcome right now here to Hot Stove. It's an incredible resume that you put together. Um, what does it mean to you when you were inducted in the College Baseball Hall of Fame to have this body of work recognized at that level? Well, you know, uh, I really didn't think much about it. My son and I talked, and he said to me, you know, Dad, you did a lot of years in coaching, and you never asked for a whole lot, and now you're being rewarded for all of that. And that's when it hit me that, uh, you know, we did do a lot of stuff, and we didn't have a lot of the necessities, and we had to make it work. And uh, what makes me so proud is that my players, they bought into it and they believe that we could do it without having all of the necessities. So, Roger, you talked about your players. And looking at your bio here that we did not put up, you also played basketball at Southern, and you've also coached basketball at Southern. So you've not only reached a group of players just playing the baseball sport, but you've actually reached another group playing basketball as well. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, that a, was a unique situation for me to be in. And, uh, and you know, I learned so much by coaching basketball first and learning the game of recruiting in basketball made it easier for me to coach baseball and recruit because basketball recruiting is a lot more difficult. So when I got to baseball, it was quite easy. And you know what's so uh, ironic about today? The head ba basketball coach called me. They say, I'd like for you to come and talk. Give my team a pep talk. We're playing Gramlin tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to get a chance to talk with the uh, basketball team today. Hey, take us back into your friendship with uh, Dusty Baker and uh, how he was able to help you guys out uh, with some stuff. Because you talked about when you started, there wasn't a whole lot going on there in the baseball world. But Dusty had a little part of that too, right? He had a big part in it. Uh, I remember when my wife convinced me to take the job, the first thing I could think about, who do I contact could help me? And Dusty was the hitting coach with the Giants at the time. And I made the call and he said, ironically, we are going to be in Atlanta. Come, we'll get you some equipment. And we got some equipment. I mean, so much equipment. We had to UPS it back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so that was really funny. But every year he managed he sent the equipment to me, and he was always there for me. Because I remember one night he called. I was sleeping, and my wife answered. He said, the reason I always call Roger, he never asked for anything for himself. It was always about his players. And that meant so much to me, you know? Yeah, Roger, also, you did the distinction of coaching the first Golden Spikes Award winner to have played at a predominantly black school. That was Ricky Weeks back in 2003. What do you remember about Ricky? Well, I do remember that he was a modest young man, didn't say much, uh, but a good player. And you know what? His ego was very well intact. I remember when he first came to Southern and uh, we were taking infield and he was trying to play shortstop. And we had a thing, if you threw the ball away, at first you had to come and pick, go get it. So that made guys concentrate on not throwing them away. So he threw one away. And I was standing by the first base dugout. He said, Coach, he said, you got some good players. I'm so glad I came here. They're going to help make me better. And that's what I remember most about all of the great things that he did, that he understood that he, had, he was surrounded by other good players, and they were going to help him to be better. That 465 career batting average is eye-popping, to say the least. So certainly he was a talented player. Uh, one more thought, Roger, just on what we're going to be seeing here, the Andre Dawson Classic. What should fans of uh, baseball be looking forward to watching on Friday? Well, I saw some games uh, this past weekend. Uh, I saw Gremlin. I saw Southern. And I think, they're, you know, they're not going to be any eye-popping things, but it's going to be very good competitive uh, baseball because they got – the pitching is going to balance things out. It's early in the season. So usually, pitching usually is a little ahead of the hitting. So I really think it's going to really balance out, and you're going to see some exciting baseball. A lot of speed. That's the one thing I'm going to say is going to be a lot of speed. Can't teach speed. Roger Cater, former Southern University head baseball coach and a college baseball Hall of Famer. Thank you so much, Roger. Appreciate the insight. Thanks, it's Roger. All right. Good talking with you. You too.